Welcome to Off-Grid Contracting. Guys, welcome to a wonderful, smoldering hot summer morning. Um, what you see behind us is a hunting lodge. Um, we're out here in the middle of nowhere, out in the middle of a forest, and um, this customer called us to do a remodel on a previous solar system. So what we've done is we put part of the array on the front of the structure south facing because it's in such a deep forest canopy. Uh, midday, it'll get bombed out with solar starts out over here and of course in the evening time they're going to get some power from here all day long okay now in a minute i'll step around back i'll show you the back side array that way as the transit goes during the day they're getting the full um, power input to the house but this system's also backed up by a generator um, and uh, pretty much last night's test on the new system layout we got i mean you can just live a life of luxury this thing powers uh uh, multiple bedrooms, uh, lighting systems, kitchen, uh, well pump, um, you name it, washer dryer. I mean, the works, the normal home, you, you're going to have it here at this lodge. Um, but guys, with that said, I'm going to step around back, show you what we've done in the supply, uh, the power supply room, and then I'll show you the controls in the house. Okay, guys, here we're just uh, doing some finish up work, clean up here. This is the pure lead carbon batteries. Um, that is the standby for the system. Here is the OTG Midnight Classic board um, that is uh, powering that off the solar off the roof. There's 15 modules coming in at 315 watt rated. Um, this is some of the old TriStar um, system that was there for the original four panels. Um, and then we added 15 more. And then here's the Connex uh, Snyder uh, 6848 unit. Uh, going in and I'll step out right here and see if I can't get and there is the other modules that's on the back of this hunting lodge that is going into the power structure there to uh, power up the battery bank and guys I'll step in the uh, house here and show you the uh, controls for it. So lastly guys here in the uh, structure we have the uh, midnight battery status monitor um, and we tried our best to absolutely drink that dry um, just to see, um, test it out. We tested this like, a, it, like the batteries were only at like 70% last night. Um, and we done a, uh, a test to see how far they would go um, if like say um, you didn't have a good charge. And then we had like uh, five, there was like five, six people play, probably staying in this lodge. We let the shower run forever. Oh, we left the lights on. We ran the AC till that the windows were frosted over. Um, and so it used about 50% usage last night because if we were at 70, oh, it just clicked up to 20 there. Um, so if we were at 70, you know, you're, you're using 50% off your battery bank. So that's a good indicator right there um, that they're going to be just fine as, uh, as time progresses here uh, with the system. Because if they start out in the evening, 100% stay to charge by morning, they should be at 50%. So... That was a good stress test. And um, lastly, I'm gonna just show you right here. There is the generator that is backing up um, this house. They can run the house completely without the, the solar. Um, they can charge the solar while they're running the house. They can run the house through the solar and charge it at the same time. Um, so lots of options there, guys, as well. So if you'd like to go off-grid, guys, check us out at offgridcontracting.com. Um, you know, we, we really enjoy doing what we do. Uh, you know, this right here, this project, we got this done in like two days and some change time frame, I believe is what we put into this. Um, so guys, we can get stuff done pretty quick for you nowadays. Um, so as always, till we see you again here at Off Grid Contracting, make sure to check us out at offgridcontracting.com. And until next time, look forward to working for you.